Hi guys, hope you're well today. Thanks for checking out today's video. So, I'm back. I was in such a good mood, I just thought I would continue filming today. I filmed last week's video and I just thought, why not film today's while I'm here? Um, so, today I'm going to be sharing my New Year's resolutions with you. At first, I wasn't sure whether I was going to because they are, you know, they are quite personal to me. Do you know, and then I was like, you know what, no actually, like, um, I feel like it's very important that I'm that I'm honest and real with you guys. I'd like to get I'd like you to get to know me better. So I thought this would be a great way of doing that. So I am um, I thought a way I could make this video a bit different is not only can I share my New Year's resolutions, but I could also reflect on the things that I am proud of myself for in the last year. I think there's so much focus sometimes on like the way things aren't or like the things that we're not or like you know like don't get me wrong like it's great to like want to improve and better yourself and all that but I think it's important as well like just to take some time to actually be proud of yourself and kind of go actually you know what I'm doing well and like you know give yourself a little pat on the back so I thought that would be a fun thing to do as well so I think I'll start with the new year's resolutions and then I'll end on the uh things I'm proud of just checking out the recording so my first new year's resolution is to continue as I am with Slimming World. I absolutely adore doing Slimming World. It's one of the best things I've ever done personally. Um, and I just wanna carry on with it. I would like to hit my target this year. So to hit my target, I need to lose another, I think, yeah, it's about like another one stone six, something like that. Um, so I'd like to hit that this year. Um, I've worked out, I should be able to hit it by August, but with that, there's no pressure. You know, I don't wanna be like, oh, I must hit, hit it by then. Um, I just want to continue as I am and you know just enjoy enjoy it um, but yeah that's my first one my third one is to decipher a bit more between important and non-important worries I am a self-confessed over warrior and overthinker and I used to always think of ways to like stop being a warrior and to be honest I don't think that's something that's just gonna happen overnight to be honest I think I'm always gonna be someone that's a bit of a warrior but I think, like my panic attacks, I can take ways to manage it better. And I feel like I have been making progress. Um, and that's all that matters, to be honest. It doesn't matter how quickly. So this year, I just want to continue with that progress and kind of decide, like, what's important to worry about and what's an over-worry. Um, because it's, if it's an over-worry, I don't want to give that space in my brain for it do you know what i mean i think i'm giving it too much space in my brain um so i want to work on reducing that so you know my my brain there's room for other things more important things is to stop trying to please everyone i kind of like tend to over analyze every word i say this is more like online more than anything else because i worry that it can be misconstrued or misinterpreted and I know like as well online that it's very easy for someone to take things the wrong way um, but I spend so much time like worrying about it that sometimes I just don't say anything at all. You can never please everyone, it's just not going to happen, um, I just need to remember that like it's really silly, like it's completely exhausting, no one's going to agree with you 100% of the time anyway, you can't please everyone 100% of the time. Um, so yeah, I really, <laughs> I really want to stop just thinking so hard about every single word, do you know what I mean? Like, because I think it kind of prevents me like saying about myself better, like on my like social medias, like I really want to like people to get to know me better. And I feel like that kind of logic um, kind of gets in the way of that a little bit. So yeah, I think I just need to just be myself. Remember I am enough. Not everyone is gonna agree with everything you're gonna say. Um, even as it's as simple as like, I don't like this film or whatever. So the fourth one isn't really like, I don't know, it's not really a new year's resolution as such, but it's just kind of something that I want to um, to do. I don't know, you'll see what I mean. Basically, I want to make my room a bit more inspiring. My dad always says like a clear space, a clear mind, and I completely agree. Um, and I just want to, you know, I've got a lot of stuff in here I probably don't need anymore, so I need to like, particularly clothes and I've been holding off on the clothes because I want to get to my target weight to then realize what fits me and what I like and all of that stuff um so just bit by bit I just kind of want to work on what stuff I love to have around me 
Um, I absolutely adore, by the way, uh, Marie Kondo's book, The Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up. Might read that again because that always motivates me. So I need to decide like what stuff I love to have around me, other stuff that I could give to charity, other stuff that needs to go. It's you know too far gone. It's going to the bin. Um, so yeah, I really want to work on that. I want to get some more posters up around my room again and photos and stuff. When I first started my YouTube channel, I used to have like posters up around my bed, um, and I don't have that anymore because I repainted my walls. So I want to work on some of that. I have the stuff for my walls. I just haven't put it up yet. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be thinking about like what I want to do with my space, maybe change the layout, um, I'm not too sure yet, so uh, that's where I'm thinking with that. So that's all my New Year's resolutions out of the way, I'm sorry if I seemed a tiny bit awkward, um, again like I said it's not something I was sure if I was going to share about because uh, the, the fact I'm like a warrior as well is something that I'm very like conscious of as well so I like I don't always like talking about it too much um but now on to the more exciting things of the things that I am proud of my first one is that this year I've had my first proper like experience of adulthood and like the stresses such as like money jobs etc all the stuff that comes with that and you know of course I had like wobbles and down spots and things like that but I'm really proud of myself on the whole of not letting it get me down overall. Um, instead, using this opportunity to just go and make the most of my dreams. Like this year, I'm just so excited for this year. Make the most of every opportunity. Going into this new year, just inspired. So, my second one is graduating uni. I graduated in September. Um, I graduated with a 2 1. So incredibly proud of. I've I completed my dissertation um in my last year i lived with my boyfriend which was amazing um it was just like a really good experience and i think i've come out of it um a lot more confident and just i don't know i feel like it was a very good experience the third one is my anxiety and my panic attacks so i feel like for a while now i've been getting a lot better with them i've had um had them much less frequently actually um, which is amazing because at, at one time I was literally having a panic attack every single day so I really like like to take time to reflect on just like how far I've come with them um, and there'll be like things like you saw in my first vlog I went to the aquarium with Brad and it wasn't until afterwards I realized oh my gosh I didn't have a panic attack I went to a gig the other night with my mum and some friends and it was after my mum was like you think you know, not that long ago, you would have gone there. It was crowded, like, you know, you would have, you probably would have panicked. And I didn't. And it was just, I don't know. This is like, it's a really, it's a really big deal for me, to be honest. Because like I said, I've been having panic attacks since I was 11. Um, it was something that was really big. Like, it nearly interfered with my GCSEs. Um, but I didn't let it. Um, so it's just, like I said, I could maybe do another video on this another time. I did go into it a bit in my first vlog, um, date night with Brad and the aquarium, if you want to check it out. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm very, very proud of that one. And my last one, I thought I'd end with the thing I started with, um, and that is just my progress with Slimming World. Um, I'm so incredibly proud of how well I'm doing with this, and I don't just mean like, you know, the weight I'm losing, but it's more... <sighs> It's more than that, it's, oh my hair's gone a bit nuts. <laughs> it's more than that, it's about my determination, my drive, my motivation. I've been so incredibly inspired by all the people I've met at my Semi World group. Um, and it's just, oh, it's just uh, honestly the best thing I've ever done. It's so amazing. Um, and I just feel so much better. Like, I feel a lot better in myself and it's just amazing and I feel like I kind of feel like well not even when I just hit my target so far the fact that I've been hitting you know targets along the way it kind of shows if I can do this I can do anything you know and it's just it's just honestly so amazing um so I'm really excited um just to continue with Slimming World it's I really really look forward to going to group every week 
I absolutely love my Slimming World group. They're just an amazing bunch of people. My consultant is the most lovely woman. Um, they're all just amazing, inspiring, and just motivational people. They're just brilliant. All good. Everything's good. I'm in such a good mood today. Um, so yeah, I thought that would be a nice little video to share with you guys. I'm really hoping when it comes to editing, I don't edit this too much and be like, oh, I can't say that. Because I do I do that with editing as well. Going back to my over analyzing, I cut loads out because I'm like, someone might take that the wrong way or, you know, and uh, I don't know. I just need to be me. I am enough, um, you know, so I need to stop stressing so much. Um, I hope you enjoyed this very real, honest video. Um, please do give it a thumbs up to show me that you liked it. I would really appreciate that. Um, yeah. Um, leave me a comment if you'd like. Um, subscribe. Follow my social medias in the down bar. Um, and I'm just really excited for this coming year. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day and rest of your week. And I'll see you next Tuesday for another video. Bye guys.